You want me to show you? Okay. Here is about what's left over of 250 boards that I designed and had made. Mm -hmm. So I get these boards made by a company in Colorado. And this is what we start with. So you take a little bit of solder. This is a 0.3 millimeter or something. It's really thin. 0.38, I believe. And because these are SMT LEDs, you gotta put some deposit on every for every one. Uh, otherwise, you can't put them on. So I use the one pad. It has 21 LEDs, so I make a little deposit on one pad all the way across here. Now here's my LEDs. They come basically in a long strip. This is a leftover, but uh, in the beginning it was a long, long strip. So here's tools sitting around. We need 21, so we count out 21. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 LEDs. Wonderful. Now let me just... Okay. Now these, basically, I don't know whether you can see this, I take one and place it there and basically heat up this deposit that I made, push the LED into it. Mm -hmm. And you take your next one and you go all the way along, uh, you know, and basically push it into the pad. So, 21 LEDs, now I'm turning it around because I'm right-handed, that's the only reason. For left-handed people, they do it the other way. And now we'll just solder the opposite pin. I mean, this thing has four pins, but only two are used. The other two are just mechanical, which we don't need. You can, but you don't have to. They're not falling off. So we just go all the way along and solder the leftover pin. So you, you also have to know, of course, how to solder properly, the amount of right of heat, not too much, not too little. You need a good soldering iron. I mean, if you go with one of these uh, resist, resistive wire or whatever thing is, I mean, you're killing these LEDs. Okay, so don't you use need, that. No, you have to use something good. A, norm, a normal heated, uh, heated tip soldering iron. Yeah. So now, the other thing is we need three resistors on here for current limiting. So one, two, three. So you're putting solder on one Same, pad on each of those. One pad, and here is the resistors. Um, again, I think. And uh, what's this the? This is uh, 500. Ohm. 500 ohm. No, 500 resistors. 500. Yeah. This is 30, 33 ohms. On, 33 on ohms case. and yeah. uh, watts. This is a quarter watt, I believe. Quarter watt. Uh -huh. 33 ohm. Quarter so basically, watt. and well, it's that's just, little. <laughs> so basically, you put them in here, just with one leg. Just like before. Like before. Come on, turn around. Funny that they always end up on the wrong side. And there's it's, no right or wrong way to put these on no, as far as polarity or anything? There's no polarity. There's a polarity on the LEDs, I didn't say, but uh, Aha. there's polarity on the LEDs. So you want to make sure those are all in the proper... That's what this little white dot is for, to show where the one okay. pin goes. Okay. And so you have to make... Uh, oh, over here, sorry. So we have three resistors, and now again, we'll just... Power, uh, just do the other side, and we have a complete LED strip. That was it. The only thing we do now is add the two feeder wires to it, correct? Yeah, and you have two pins, uh, two holes on this side, and two holes on this side, so you can put them in series just uh, by using little jumper wires. Basically, that's what okay. I do. I basically screw them. There's two screw holes in here. Mm -hmm. I screw them to something, put jumper wires. Okay. And then now, feed them. So approximately how long would you say take Michael to do a uh, strip um, for you? What was it now? Not huh. even 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Not even 10 minutes? Okay. And it's we actually slowed down a little bit, so... Yes. Okay, great. Now we can go and see whether this thing really works. Next step right. after we made the strip? Testing. Testing, of course. So this is um, a little... Un I'm a little unprepared, so this is my crazy lab here, where I do for things... The for the crazy... For the living, the this is where I make my money. Mm -hmm. And here we go. See, Whoa. I messed one up. One yes. has a missing connection somewhere. So we have to go back and see one of the pads isn't correct. Okay. So that happens. All right. So this is a good example. I hope that doesn't work. Okay. And because I'm lazy, I don't even look which one it could be. I'm just re-soldering or reheating every pad. And... Oh, this one moved. So this uh, one was it. You so, found it. Yes. So it was this pad. Okay. So we found that even uh, electrical engineers sometimes uh, 
Oh yeah, because That's I did this in a hurry. You you made me make, do it. Do oh, it it's my fault. That's it's always your this. fault. Right? <laughs> okay, back good. Back at the test stand. Try it again after repairs, right? See what happens. If all goes well. I should have switched this on. There you go. Whoa, perfect. You know, lots of lots of light. Great job, Michael. Good. Thank you. All right.